Hello friends, it's Paula and you're in my Las Vegas kitchen and in fact you're in my kitchen the day before Thanksgiving here in the U.S. of A. So I think we're going to assume you're going to have some leftover turkey and let's do something classic with it. Today we're not going to go down to the strip and look at the chefs. Today we're going to go to an old beloved standby first published in 1969, my Betty Crocker cookbook, and we are going to make a savory and delicious turkey pot pie. Have I ever made a turkey pot pie? No, but I'm making one today. So I've got my New York State of Mind apron on today for my pal Siobhan, who lives over there in New York City. And of course, tomorrow is the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, which is a tradition around the world, first thing on Thursday morning of Thanksgiving Day. Dale's mom, whose name was Betty, absolutely loved the Macy's Parade. So making a Betty dish and it's the night before Thanksgiving. I'm going to dedicate this to my mother-in-law, Betty. All right, let's see what goes into our uh, pot pie. Well, I've got two cups of turkey that is, quote, leftover. We'll talk about that in a minute. And we are going to make a savory gravy slash uh, sauce to go into our pot pie out of flour and butter, that's a roux of course. I've got some light cream, chicken broth, and then we're gonna season it with salt, pepper, and thyme. Along with the turkey, we're going to add some frozen peas and carrots and some onion. And of course, the most important part of the whole entire thing is a savory two crust pie crust, which I've got ready and all we've gotta do is put the ingredients in that baby. So let's get cooking. Prep steps. I did a couple things before we got started today, one of which was to make a two crust pie crust. And I actually used a new recipe I never tried before. I got it off the website of Robin Hood Flour. And I will put that in the description box in case you wanna try it. It has a mixture of both shortening and butter and um, interesting technique. Now, the recipe tells us that we need to make the two crust pie crust and then separate it into two thirds of the crust is goes into a nine inch pie tin, which is what you see here. And then the other one third, we are going to roll into a rectangle, 10 inch by six inch. I just made a little template out of um, parchment paper. And then you cut them into half inch strips and that's gonna be the lattice on top of our turkey pot pie. So I did all that before we started rolling the cameras and I recommend you do that too. Get that all out of the way. Um, you already saw that I have my two cups of cut up turkey done. So let me give you a little tip. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I haven't actually made a turkey yet, but if you happen to have in your grocery store freezer section a Jenny O turkey breast, they are unbelievable. They're boneless, they're in a pouch, you put them in the, from the freezer directly into the oven and three hours later you have the most delicious turkey breast and that is actually what we're using for our leftovers today. Highly recommend. <laughs> All right, the only other prep we did was I went ahead and made a 10 ounce package of peas and carrots, traditional, going into a pot pie. You can use canned or frozen. I used frozen, I just microwaved them. And then last but not least, the recipe calls for pearl onions. You remember pearl onions back in the day? Cameraman Dale reminded me that they actually used to go in drinks. Well, I couldn't find them in a can or anywhere, so I just sweated a sweet onion and a little bit of butter, and that's gonna have to be my substitute for the pearl onions. Very, very 60s and 70s for sure. I think that's it for prep. I'm gonna turn on the oven 425 degrees and let's make our sauce first. First step, we need to make a roux in a big saucepan. So I have two tablespoons of butter going in first and along with that, two tablespoons of flour. And we're just gonna, of course, stir that continuously You ever took a French cooking class? I think that's the very first thing you learn. <laughs> and then we're gonna add in just 
very, very few in terms of herbs and spices, just salt, pepper, and a little bit of thyme. You know, I'm really, really excited about this Thanksgiving. Looking back and talking about Dale's mom, Betty, the last time we had her here for Thanksgiving, believe it or not, was 20 years ago in 2003. And this year, finally, 20 years later, we're going to have three generations of Mackenzie women around the Thanksgiving table this year. Daughter-in-law, Kristen, and of course, baby Mikey, who's not quite a baby anymore. <laughs> Let me make sure that fire's low. Now, we're going to talk about the uh, seasonings. It's one teaspoon of salt, one eighth teaspoon of fresh ground pepper, and one eighth teaspoon of fresh thyme. This is not something I cook with. Thyme and of course the Simon and Garfunkel song <laughs> comes into mind immediately. Oh my gosh, what a great fragrance. All right, so it says here, cook over low heat stirring till smooth and bubbly. Well, if you look in the overhead, I think we are there. So I'm going to turn the fire off momentarily and I'm gonna stir in my next two ingredients, which is one half cup of chicken broth. I'm a Swanson gal, so I just use Swanson chicken broth. Stir that in. And one half cup of light cream. So let me just measure that into my same little cup here. Not opened yet today. <laughs> Okay, there's my cream. Stir those in, and then we're gonna put this back on the fire. And we're gonna thicken that up. So it says, stir in, heat to boiling, stirring constantly, and then boil and stir one minute. So let me get my fire back on. And I'm gonna keep the fire kinda on medium, and I'm gonna bring that to a boil. Honest to goodness, I don't know what ever made me shy away from trying a pot pie. Dale and I both love them <laughs> in a restaurant. Um, we even love Marie Callender's frozen pot pies. So to make one, I guess I shied away because I'm not a big fan of pie crusts, but uh, this King Arthur version was quite um, a success so far. So I think uh, maybe I'll be, I'll be making pot pies more often. All right, let me bring this to a boil. Boil one minute and I will be back. Well, that didn't take long. It's only a cup of liquid, so that came to a boil and look how it has thickened up. Oh my gosh, that thyme makes it smell wonderful. Next step, really simple. In goes my two cups of Jenny O turkey and my 10 ounce package of vegetables. Just use my fingers here to make sure I've got all those carrots. And then last is my little sweated sweet onions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that looks fantastic. And give it all a stir. And honest to goodness, ladies and gentlemen, that's all there is to the filling. Look how great that looks. All right, I'm going to go grab my pie crust and my lattice top, and let's do this. Well, here is my extra thick pie crust all ready to go. By the way, I was keeping that in the fridge. Robin Hood tells us that becomes flakier if you keep it cold. I also have all my fillings, so let's go. Cameraman Dale stuck his nose in this, and he said the same thing he said, actually, when I made chicken a la king. It's like a school cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not a bad thing. <laughs> Childhood memories for sure. I have to say this has been just a super simple recipe and I'm really excited to see how this turns out for our dinner. I think as we told you, we film these on Sunday afternoons. So this is actually going to be our Sunday dinner today. Oh my goodness, I might have to like even open a bottle of wine. This is kind of special. All right, so now we've got the special part. There are 12 strips for the lattice top. My instructions tell me to take them, put seven of them across in one direction, like so. <laughs> 
again, keeping this cold is actually what allows me to actually pick these up. I was a little bit sweating that, I admit it. See there, the tip broke off, but that's okay. We'll just put this one a little further down. And then we have to flute the edges and uh, see how we do on this. I think the trick is to go slow and easy. So seven go across in one direction and then the other five go across in the opposite direction, which is why we had to do uh, 10 inches long and six inches wide. So. This last one is giving me a little trouble here. Well, you get the idea. You know what, I'm gonna put that little piece right there. Why not? Why waste any of this crust there? Ta-da! In the oven. I'll see you at the table. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, look who I have here. It's Strangled Ale. I'm here. I'm here for Thanksgiving, and they told me there's going to be pie today. <laughs> you know, he's always in the back 40 out roping and wrangling and whatever the heck Durango Dale does, but when he smelled pie, he came running. I had to come. You know what's odd is every time I show up, my cousin Dale's never there. I'm beginning to think he don't like me no more. I think he's avoiding you. I think he is. <laughs> What, what kind of pie is this? Well, it is a turkey pot pie. It's not dessert, it's dinner. It is not. It is. They make pies out of turkeys? Well, sort of. Oh, okay, I, I never <laughs> heard of that. That's the strangest thing I've heard of. It smells so amazing. Now, Durango, get rid of the rope, get rid of the toothpick. I never get, get rid of my dinner. rope. You can't eat dinner with a rope. I, I, I never without my rope. So folks, let me tell you a couple things that I did off camera. Before I put the pie in the oven, of course, I fluted the edges. You fluted? And what, is that like you played a flute while you was doing it? Exactly. Wow. And then I cut three little pieces of foil about three inches wide and I kind of covered around the rim so that it would not overcook on the edges. I love them brown, but I don't like them burnt. So I did want to mention those two steps. And here we are, it's plated up. The kitchen smells amazing. Durango, please do the honor. Can I just say something? Yeah. Durango Dale does not drink. I'm sorry, I should drink. have poured milk. Durango Dale does not drink, but he does eat pie. So, could I get to try it now? Please do. I have to hold my pick, my, my toothpick. This looks. Luckily, it doesn't require a knife. Can you imagine that they made pie out of turkey? I can't imagine it. I'm excited to give this a try. I admit it. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> that is, is that good? good. <laughs> that is really good. Oh, oh. institutional dinner. Yum. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Doesn't need salt or pepper. No. It doesn't need any seasoning. That crust is so buttery. Oh my gosh, that is. Did you is... make these little things here? Yes, these little I crusty did. Thing? <laughs> wow. Cameraman Dale, if you ever talk to him, he would attest to it because he watched you know, me do he it. He don't talk to me. <laughs> Whenever I go up, he's never here. But you know what? That means more pie for me. <laughs> no, I'm gonna so, eat it. I do want to say a couple things about the wine. I did want to pour wine. It's called Yes Way Rosé. It was a gift from some friends of ours in the UK that I met for a meal, Wendy and Tony. I've been saving this since February. <laughs> But today's a perfect day. At least I'll enjoy it. I'll pour you a glass that's of milk later. That's okay. I'll have some milk. But you know, I'll <laughs> tell you what, I don't drink and I don't gamble. So, you know, that's just the way of my life. It's the code of the West for Durango Dale. I'm going to have another bite of this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an amazing meal. Our pal Betty, she's been setting us straight since the 1920s. Who's Betty? With Betty Crocker. Betty Crocker. With great great recipes tips by the way betty isn't real she was invented what? by the folks that make gold medal flour general mills is nothing real <laughs> in this world she's no more? our kitchen ideal our right. pal betty <laughs> okay so I just want to wish everyone here a great, great, great Thanksgiving. We hope you have blessings around your table tomorrow for sure. We do. We want you to have the best Thanksgiving because I'm going to be here. And I heard that that little girl, Mikey, is going to be here too with Long with Dale. She's going to have a good time.
she gets to meet Durango Dale for the first time. And I do want to give a shout out to our friend Bryn over in PA for the new artwork on the fridge. Is she the one that drew Thanksgiving. Drew that right there? She did. Thank uh, you so much. We have them in all rooms of the house. <laughs> I'll tell you what, she should be selling that stuff because it's perfect. <laughs> all right. Idea. Uh, it's a good idea. Everyone, the recipes for the crust and the filling are going to be in the description box. Make some either turkey or chicken pot pie with leftovers. This is fantastic. Sounds Thanks like for being with idea. us. Bye-bye, yeah. everybody. Bye, everyone. <laughs>